Let's talk business. This is how we're moving yours forward. Standard Bank, moving forward. From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. This year is a big year for the Airbus Military A400M military transport aircraft program, which involves South African industry. Keith Campbell reports. Earlier this year, Airbus Military President and Chief Executive Officer Domingo Urena hailed 2013 as the year of the A400M. This year has seen the first production aircraft come off the final assembly line and the start of the delivery process to customers. At the end of last month, the A400M received its type acceptance for its initial operating standard from Europe's Organisation for Joint Armament Cooperation, which acts on behalf of the programme's seven European core partner countries – Belgium, France, Germany, Luxembourg, Spain, Turkey and the United Kingdom. There is also currently one export customer, Malaysia. Between them, they have 174 aircraft on order. By the end of this year, four of these will have been delivered to two customers, three to the French Air Force and one to the Turkish Air Force. The A400M program has significant South African content. Private sector company Aerosuit has six work packages for the aircraft and produces various structures for it, such as the nose fuselage linings, the cargo hold linings, cockpit linings, cockpit rigid bulkhead, the aircraft galleys and also the wingtips. State-owned Donnell Aerostructures makes the wing fuselage fairings and the centre fuselage top shells. Both companies are now ramping up their production. For example, Donnell Aerostructures last year produced eight A400M ship sets. A ship set is a complete set of components for one aircraft. But this year it will manufacture 16 ship sets, rising to 24 next year. The company expects production to stabilize at 24 to 30 ship sets a year. The development program for the A400M has lasted 10 years and so far more than 5,000 flight test hours have been accumulated. There have been innumerable tests and trials, covering the aircraft's ability to use rough airstrips, to operate in very hot and very cold conditions, to take off and land at high altitude airfields, to abort takeoffs, to fly high and fast and low and slow. Avionics systems, including night vision aids for the pilots, have been tested. Different types of cargo, including helicopters, have been loaded onto and unloaded from the aircraft. There have been air-to-air -air refueling trials. In some, the A400M has been the receiving aircraft. In others, the A400M has been the tanker. There have been demonstrations of the A400M doing in-flight refueling of helicopters. Airbus Military is confident that the A400M has a great future. It sees market opportunities in Asia, the Middle East, Australasia and South America. It expects to export 400 A400Ms over the next 30 years and says that this is a conservative estimate. Other news making headlines this week, ArcelorMittal South Africa is optimistic of sealing the Tabazimbi deal with Kumba in the second half of the year. CISA moves on its first graft case as it sharpens its corruption-busting tools. And a homegrown gas pressure regulator has global aspirations. ArcelorMittal South Africa's CEO Nonkuleleko Nayambiza Haita says the outcome of the negotiations between it and Kumba Iron Ore over the future of the Tabazimbi mine, which is a tied supplier to AMSA's Vandervale Park Works, should be concluded during the second half of the year. Tabazimbi clearly a big drive of iron ore costs at the moment, particularly affecting Vandervale Park. We are in um, the tail end of, of uh, engagement with Kumba to arrive at a solution that will comprehensively address the high cost of Tabazimbi and we anticipate reaching conclusion on those discussions during the second half. In fact, if we're being widely optimistic, even during the third quarter. 
Consulting Engineers South Africa, which represents more than 450 member firms, is moving ahead with its first anti-corruption case, having established a so-called war chest in 2012 to enable it to take legal action in instances where corruption is suspected. We are very strong as CISA, and, and that is what I will be standing for going forward uh, on anti-corrupt behavior, you know, because uh, corruption destroys value, uh, it distorts the market of competitiveness, and really it just frustrates people who are passionate in making a, a, a living in a decent approach. We, we, we are going to be the watchdogs ourselves as, as, as CISA. Uh, we are going to convince the client uh, uh, bodies out there to say that we are here to assist you to, to have a foresight in the way that you're procuring uh, services of this nature. Welding, cutting and gas products and services company African Oxygen Limited launched a technologically advanced gas pressure regulator called the Smooth Flow Regulator in South Africa last month. It embodies innovative features and represents years of research and development investment. It will soon be launched in Europe, North America and Australia. Smooth Flow is a single stage regulator with multi-stage functionality. Prior to this, people had to choose between either a single stage or a multi-stage. This one has both. It is also half as heavy as any other comparative product. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insight into South Africa's real economy.